Hey guys, how's it going? So what am I working on now? I'm working on my Ram truck and I'm gonna replace the steering rack bushings. Let me show you why. Now I just got this truck not too long ago. So this is all new to me. Um, I picked it up as a running concern. I was able to fix it. So this is gonna be my daily driver. But if you look and see, it's got steering rack bushings that sit here. That's an actual bushing right there sticking out. On this side, it's all swelled and breaking apart. So I bought new bushings. And the reason for this is Chrysler mounted the oil filter up there. Now this is supposed to have, if I'm not mistaken, a trough or something coming off of there to direct the oil so it doesn't land directly on here. But of course it's missing. And as you know from a previous video, this motor was changed. So, and I fixed the issue that it had for seven years and 70,000 miles. But anyway, so I've never done these before. I don't imagine they're too bad. Uh, there's a bolt that goes all the way through a cross member from this side. Uh, it's a 24 millimeter. I already did put a gun on there just to make sure I could crack them free easy enough. Now the front part here, this nut, if I'm not mistaken, um, it's pressed into the bushing, but I'm not 100% sure. So I got to see how that goes. I might do one side at a time. I might have to do one side and loosen the other side. I don't know. I got to see. Um, let me show you what I got. So I found on Amazon... Uh, it's called Nolathane. Whatever. So here's the new bushings that go in place. Uh, they give you a nice little sticker, which is not going to go on anything I own. And you get these little um, packets of grease, and they give you a little instruction kit. And it says, raising support. There's two main nuts holding the rack in place here, and loosen the nuts. But you know what? They're actually bolts that come through the back. And supposedly there's a sleeve. So let's figure this out. Let's learn this. And let's get going. So the way I'm going to start this is I'm going to take the one bolt out of this side here. I know you can't see that. Oh, I think I actually started to spin there. And I'm going to loosen this one. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I got to see if I can't pry that thing out. So get a little pry bar. So I'm going to have to try to find a large... Oh, actually, it moves relatively easy. It's not that difficult. It's a little more intimidating than I thought, but it's not, it's not that big a deal. It's moving. So it should come straight out. And of course, they recommend, see, there's the bushing there. I don't think you can see that, because I can't see the camera right now. And then there's a sleeve inside there. So you know what? I'm just going to take both sides apart, and let's see how that goes. Can you see this side here? All right, let's... Let's take this one off. Rack might fall. A little bit, I don't know. Get that bushing out. That one's a little more in there. But it's going. It's going. It's like flexing in the rubber too, so. I'm just putting tension on it. I can watch it just slowly slide out of the bushing. And there it goes. Okay. So, and that's what that looks like. So now, I said there's a sleeve in here, and it's like I got the bolt in here, so I may have to take. I guess I've never done this before. Let me get a screw jack underneath there. Now, if you're doing this on the ground, you might want to use a floor jack and a block of wood or something just to support it. And I'm just going to use this pole jack. It's not going to go all that far, but. I take a chance. Let's 
something just fell. I saw it hit the ground. I don't know where it went, but it's here somewhere. All right, so let me figure out. There's a sleeve back here also. You were telling me about in the instructions. So I got to get that out of there to get that bushing out. So it's probably the same procedure of prying. So let me see what I can figure out. When I think what fell was just, yeah, you know what? It was just a bolt that was stuck behind between a rack that just fell to the ground. All right, let me pry that out. Now to get that back bushing out, all I did was I laid a socket in there up against the bushing and I whacked it with a hammer and it fell right out. So, you know, and it's, it, this thing's loose. You know what I mean? It's not going anywhere. I didn't block it with anything. So it just shows you it just popped right out. It really wasn't that difficult. So let me do the other side and then let's get this stuff switched over. This is pretty darn simple. I will say that. So the sleeves and bushings all came out. Now this bushing, this is the first one I took out. It's actually stuck onto the sleeve. The sleeve itself, it kind of, kind of got some rust buildup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire wheel everything. If you don't have a wire wheel, take a scotch Brite pad, a piece of sandpaper or something. Just get it cleaned up. But I'm going to slice bushing off of here. Hopefully it'll come off with relative ease. Yeah, it's actually like welded itself on place. Yeah, just like that. And you heard it rip off of there because it was stuck on the rust. All right, so let me go wire wheel everything so we can put this all back together. All right, so what I'm going to do... <clears throat> I'm going to open up a pack of the grease, and this stuff just looks like just a silicone grease, that's all it is. And just put a light amount on each of the sleeves, just like this. That's all I'm going to do. And then I'm going to do the same thing in the female end of the steering rack and slide these bushings in. And then also, it's not going to hurt anything to put some lube on the inside of each of the sleeves and on the outside to help it go in. Um... But yeah, let's do all of that. Let's get that all in, and then I'll show you putting these all in place. All right, so I got the lube up inside there. So now let's put these bushings in, and they just should just slide in place, I hope. Yep, there we go. I did have to wipe this side out with a Scotch-Brite pad because it did have a little bit of rust buildup on it. <clears throat> this side is steel, where this side is aluminum. It's just because of the design of the rack itself. There we go. That's that. I mean, seriously, this is not that difficult. <clears throat> so now the back portion of the sleeve, I'm assuming this is probably going to be a little tighter than everything else I've been dealing with. And yes, it is true. So, what I'm going to do, I'm use a pair of channel locks. Let me try going from the side so you can see what I'm talking about here. I'm going to grab a pair of channel locks and try to press that in place. you're worried about damaging the front one, then leave it out until you're done. I'm not certain if there's any other way to do this. I'm certain there probably is. You could probably stick the bolt through there with a large washer on the other side and a nut and do it. But this works absolutely perfectly for me. All right, so not a lot of effort. That's in place. So now, what I want to do is get this thing caught up in place like that, and like that. I'm going to take the pole jack out. And now we'll catch that sleeve nut looking thingy. Now that's going to have to go in like that. And it doesn't matter, these are flipped actually. This one was on that side originally, but they're both identical, so there's no need to worry about it. So now, let's tighten those up. 
little bit. Okay, now, I'm gonna assume most of you guys, when you're doing this, you're not gonna have a torque wrench. Using this with a swivel impact. If you're using an, a, a swivel on an impact, make sure it's specifically designed to be a swivel impact. I've seen them explode when you use the chrome ones. So there are a couple of ugga duggas and we're leaving it at that. We are not gonna put a torque wrench on it. I'm not that concerned about it. If you are concerned, you could try putting a breaker bar on it and tightening it up a little more. I'm confident that that's fine. So I am leaving it at that. Actually here, just to quell the complainers, just in case, put my wrench on it and uh, that thing is tight. Then I'm 300 pounds, okay? I put a lot of weight into that. It ain't moving. So I'm confident that it's tight and I'm definitely not worried about it. All right, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you got something out of that. I've never done that before. It was simple. I mean, if I wasn't making the video, I could have probably gotten that thing done in 20 minutes. You know, once it was up in the air, once it's set up. It was really nothing to it. So don't be afraid of it. Really wasn't that bad. All right. So hopefully you get something out of my videos. If you do, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. All right, guys. Have a great day. Keep wrenching.